At a university in St. Petersburg, math instructor Alexa falls for astrophysics professor Maximilian, which he discovers him nearly frozen as he gazes at the stars. The pair soon weds, and Alexa becomes pregnant with a baby girl, whom Maximilian wishes to call Jupiter, despite Alexa's dislike for the name. One evening, burglars break into their home and steal their belongings. Maximilian pleads with them to spare his treasured telescope, but they respond by shooting him and fleeing with their haul. Heartbroken and alone, Alexa relocates to her family in Chicago, embarking on a ship to the United States. Mid-journey, she gives birth to her daughter and names her Jupiter in honor of her late husband. Growing up, Jupiter is told by her aunt that she is destined for greatness and true love. However, as an adult, Jupiter feels her life is unfulfilling. Being the child of immigrants, she can only secure work as a cleaner for wealthy individuals and resides in a cramped house with her large family, lacking any real privacy. On a distant, deserted planet, the three siblings of the influential House of Abrasax reunite after a long separation. The planet is barren because the family harvests humans from various civilizations to create a youth-preserving elixir. Following their mother's passing, each sibling inherits some planets, with Earth going to the eldest, Balaam. The youngest, Titus, wishes to purchase Earth, but Kalik points out its exorbitant price, prompting Balaam to leave in silence. In Chicago, a hunter named Cain appears and is noticed by bounty hunters Rizo, Ibis, and Falk. They observe Cain using a unique device to bypass a door, deducing that none of them are Earthlings. Believing Cain is pursuing the same target, they decide to tail him. Cain infiltrates a clinic, examining patient Catherine's records using his heightened sense of smell to find clues. Upon leaving, he encounters the trio, prompting him to activate his levitating boots to flee. Gunfire is exchanged, but Cain successfully escapes. Rezo informs her associates that they should notify their employer, Balam. Meanwhile, Kalik discusses with her servants her desire to join the earthly hunt without her brother's knowledge. Balam discusses matters with his subordinates, and upon learning that they've discovered a unique geniprint in Catherine, he orders her elimination. It turns out that Catherine is a friend of Jupiter's. That night, while assisting Jupiter in selecting a dress, Catherine screams. Jupiter investigates and sees a group of gray aliens preparing to do something to Catherine's levitating body, prompting her to snap a photo with her phone. Her ringing phone attracts the aliens' attention, who promptly render both women unconscious. When they awaken, they have no memory of the incident. At dinner with her family, Jupiter receives her next cleaning assignment from her cousin Vasily. She inquires about borrowing money for a telescope like her father's, but Vasily advises her to save on her own. Later, her cousin Vlady persuades Jupiter to sell her eggs for money, earning a percentage for himself. The following day, Jupiter visits the clinic under Catherine's name. While playing with her phone, she stumbles upon the photo of the aliens. As she is called into the operating room, she begins to feel uneasy and wants to leave, but suddenly starts levitating. The entire clinic staff is revealed to be aliens who, upon checking Jupiter's DNA, confirm her unique geniprint, attributing the confusion to the name mix-up. As they prepare to kill her, Kane intervenes, shooting the aliens and rescuing Jupiter, who loses consciousness. On a spaceship, Titus learns that his hunter has found the girl and sends transportation for her. While Balam, hearing of the clinic incident, orders increased security. When Jupiter awakens in an unfamiliar room, she grabs Kane's gun and demands an explanation. Kane describes the existence of various life forms throughout the universe, noting he is a half human, half wolf hybrid bred for military purposes. The gray aliens, known as Keepers, seek to kill Jupiter due to her specific genes. To verify his claims, Kane demonstrates the portal opening gadget and his levitate boots. As Titus' spaceship beams them up, Balam's forces arrive and destroy Titus' ship. The explosion sends Jupiter and Kane plummeting, but Kane catches her and flies to safety. A high speed pursuit ensues through Chicago as enemy ships fire at Kane, causing collateral damage to buildings and vehicles. Kane leads them to a bridge, where he conceals a stolen enemy show. Safely inside the shuttle, Kane returns fire and conceals their position underwater when needed. Despite his skilled piloting, the shuttle sustains heavy damage, forcing Kane and Jupiter to eject before it explodes. They land safely, thanks to Kane's boots. The following morning, Kane commandeers a car 
and with Jupiter demanding further clarification, explains their entanglement in a conflict within the powerful Abrasax family. Their influence is so extensive that they immediately reconstruct any damage caused and erase witnesses' memories. K knows Titus wants Jupiter on his ship, while Balaam seeks her death. Balaam reviews the clinic incident using the Keeper's memories and cryptically tells Jupiter he sometimes misses her, before threatening his guards. Hours later, Jupiter and Cain arrive at Stinger's home, a former Aegis Marshal and Cain's friend. Stinger, not wanting to be drawn back into his past, attacks Cain. The altercation is interrupted when bees swarm around Jupiter, responding to her movements. Stinger immediately kneels, addressing her as Your Majesty, as bees can recognize royalty. Inside, Stinger treats Cain's injuries and reveals that Cain lost his wings during his court martial. As Jupiter takes a call from Vlady, Cain admits to Stinger that he was unaware of her royal status, and Titus promised him new wings as payment. Stinger arranges for the Aegis to collect them the following day. As Cain arms himself with Stinger's weaponry, Stinger informs Jupiter about Cain's court martial, which involved biting an elite individual, leading to his own dismissal as well. He also explains that humans are not native to Earth, stating that Abrasax Industries wiped out the dinosaurs and populated the planet with humans for future harvesting. Before Jupiter can inquire about harvesting, Cain alerts them to the presence of bounty hunters and keepers outside. Cain engages in combat while Stinger and Jupiter flee, but they too must fight when cornered. Falk locates them and repels Stinger with a shockwave, but when he tries to capture Jupiter, the bees defend her. Jupiter flees into a cornfield, but Thought catches her and renders her unconscious with another shockwave. As keepers close in to kill Jupiter, Razo and Ibis betray Falk, eliminating him and the keepers before abducting Jupiter onto their ship. Cain defeats his adversaries and leaps onto the departing ship unnoticed. Hours later, the hunter's ship reaches an alien city, with Cain disembarking undetected. The hunters sell Jupiter to Kalik's associates who offer a higher price than Balaam. Upon waking, Jupiter finds herself wearing an elegant dress in an unfamiliar room. Kalik, struck by Jupiter's resemblance to her deceased mother, shows her a statue that looks identical to Jupiter, revealing she is the reincarnation of Kalik's mother who lived for 90,000 years before being murdered. As Cain covertly enters the mansion, tracking Jupiter by scent, he encounters guards and engages in battle. Kalik introduces Jupiter to a pool with rejuvenating water, keeping her youthful despite being 14,004. She alludes to the potion made from harvested human lives, but doesn't directly mention it. Kalik informs Jupiter that she can claim Earth as her mother's reincarnation and enjoy a life of luxury. Their conversation is interrupted by Cain, who attempts to take Jupiter away, but Jupiter decides to trust Kalik and await the Aegis. Balaam eliminates the general who failed to capture Jupiter and dispatches a new soldier, Regan, to pursue her. Soon after, Aegis Captain Ting arrives with Stinger, promising to escort Jupiter to the Commonwealth Ministry on Auras. Jupiter changes into more comfortable attire, and she shares a tender moment with Cain. She flirts with him, but he rebuffs her advances due to their differing statuses. The ship arrives at Auras, the birthplace of original humans, where an android guides Jupiter through an extensive bureaucratic process. Eventually, the android bribes an employee to expedite matters, resulting in Jupiter receiving a seal on her wrist, marking her as royalty. Jupiter questions why Cain remains by her side, and he explains that Stinger believes they may be reinstated in the Force if they assist her. Unfortunately, when Stinger appears, he is surrounded by bounty hunters and betrays Cain, having struck a deal with Titus. Shortly after, Jupiter is escorted to another spaceship and meets Titus, who promises to return her to Earth if she agrees to dine with him. Titus guards imprison Cain. During dinner, Jupiter inquires about Cain, and Titus claims he sent him back to his homeland. Titus reveals that Kalik lied to Jupiter and discloses that the rejuvenating potion is created from human lives. He shows Jupiter his collection of potion bottles explaining his mother sought to halt the harvesting process before her murder. Titus feigns innocence, claiming he saved the bottles to continue his mother's mission. Jupiter believes him, but hesitates when Titus proposes marriage to join forces against his siblings. Meanwhile, Stinger contacts Titus' guards to finalize their arrangement. After the call, it is revealed that Stinger was captured by Xing, who forced him to make the call to trace the ship's location. K 
Cain confronts Titus for deceiving him, but Titus argues that lies are a necessary means of survival. Titus intends to marry Jupiter, then kill her to claim Earth for himself. Cain is ejected into space as punishment for his betrayal, and while drifting, he manages to break free from his restraints and secure protective gear. Unable to return to the ship as it vanishes through a portal, running out of oxygen, reminisces about Jupiter, believing he is near death. The Aegis arrives just in time to save him. Cain informs the crew of Jupiter's predicament and enlists Stinger's aid, who explains his betrayal was a desperate attempt to secure a cure for his ill daughter. Otherwise, he supports the Aegis. Back on Earth, Jupiter's family worries about her disappearance and scolds Vladdy for sending her to a dubious clinic. Gregan suddenly crashes through the ceiling and abducts them. Later, Jupiter expresses uncertainty about the wedding and requests to see Cain. Titus claims Cain left due to his violent tendencies and reassures Jupiter that the wedding is merely a contractual agreement to protect the innocent. He also reveals an unused pardon for Cain, withheld due to Cain's perceived betrayal. Convinced of Titus' noble intentions, Jupiter agrees to marry him. Several hours later, Jupiter dons a stunning gown and is escorted to the wedding ceremony. Outside, Titus' fleet encircles the ship to defend against an impending Aegis attack. Cain and Stinger showcase their exceptional piloting skills, battling the enemy as Jupiter hesitates at the altar. As she finishes her vows and a symbolic ring is about to be imprinted on her finger, she withdraws her hand, hearing the sounds of battle. Titus forces her hand back, but just then, Cain bursts into the room, aiming his weapon at Titus and revealing the truth to Jupiter. Although tempted to kill Titus, Cain heeds Jupiter's request to take her away instead. Aboard the Aegis ship, Jupiter presents Cain with the pardon she stole from Titus. Cain desires a deeper connection with her, but Jupiter distances herself from the situation. Upon returning to Earth, Jupiter discovers her home in ruins, occupied by Gregan and Balaam's henchmen. They demand Jupiter abdicate her title to spare her family, and despite Titting and Cain's warnings, she agrees. Gregan transports Jupiter in his spacecraft, while Singh and Cain attempt to tail them on the Aegis ship. However, the portal closes behind Gregan's craft, preventing pursuit to navigate away from a perilous storm. The storm encircles Balaam's domain, and Cain hesitates to take action. Stinger delivers an impassioned speech about Jupiter's importance, motivating Cain to proceed alone. His shuttle is damaged by the storm, resulting in a turbulent crash landing that destroys the gravity hull. At Balaam's domain, Jupiter confronts him about his mother's murder, earning a slap in response. Balaam orders Gregan to nearly kill Alexa, stopping only when Jupiter agrees to sign the abdication to save her mother. As she's about to sign, Jupiter realizes Earth will be harvested soon and refuses to sacrifice millions of lives for her family. Just then, Balaam's guards report the hull damage, and Cain bursts into the palace, engaging Gregan. Assured of her family's safety, Jupiter destroys the abdication tablet, provoking Balaam to attempt her murder. Jupiter quickly repels him with a kick. Enraged, Balaam orders his guards to kill Jupiter, but Cain intervenes, whisking her to safety through a portal. He conceals her in a secure location, receiving a kiss from Jupiter, before returning to battle Gregan. Jupiter starts relocating her family as inhabitants of the planet evacuate due to the hazardous atmosphere created by the damaged hull. Balaam attempts to attack a distracted Jupiter, but she uses a gun from Cain to shoot him in the legs. As the palace crumbles under the strain of the broken hull, the floor collapses beneath Jupiter and Balaam. Cain wants to save her, but must first confront Gregan, who drags him out of the building with his tail. Miraculously, Jupiter and Balaam cling to a broken railing, while Cain frees himself from Gregan's grasp and continues fighting using his floating boots. He disables Gregan's wings causing him to crash, then kills him using a portal. Cain then contacts Aegis for assistance in rescuing Jupiter's family. Meanwhile, Jupiter struggles to escape the disintegrating building. After several close calls and daring leaps, she manages to re-enter the palace. Balaam confronts her, assaulting her with a metal rod and calling her mother, revealing he killed his mother and claiming she begged for death. Jupiter seizes the rod and fights back, but refuses to kill Balaam. As the structure collapses, Balaam plummets to his death. Jupiter also falls, but Cain rescues her and equips her with protective gear. With time running out, Singh opens a portal to evacuate the area. 
Kane uses his boots to dodge Debray and cross the portal, ensuring everyone's safe return to the solar system. Later, Jupiter resumes her daily life, approaching everything with newfound positivity. As an apology for the trouble, her family gifts her a telescope. After work, she meets Kane for a date. Jupiter now has her own pair of floating boots, and Kane's wings have been restored. Sharing a kiss, they soar into the sky together. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay on top of all the latest recaps and never miss a beat. Thank you for watching.